Hello and welcome to our surf tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to enter multiple purchase invoices. If you're looking to enter multiple purchase invoices, click on the purchases tab on the left hand side and select invoices and credit notes. From here, select quick and quick invoice. Now at this point, I would just like to suggest that if you have not watched our how to set up a supplier video, you should go back and do that now as that will make it a lot easier to enter purchase invoices quickly. And I will show you that now in two minutes. So I'm gonna enter the date of my invoice, which is the 1st of the 2nd, 2018. Invoice number, which is 1112. I'm going to select my supplier and you can do that by hitting on the search tab and selecting the supplier from the list. So this invoice is for accountant one, two, three. And you can see now how it's very beneficial to already have your supplier set up and to have all the general information and the invoice settings information in. As having selected my supplier, it's pulled up my supplier name, the correct fact code and the correct nominal code. So I'm going to enter my net amount, which is 100. And from there, it has generated my VAT and my gross. And if I want, I can enter a note here, February invoice. And that invoice will now be generated once I hit save. However, from this tab, if you have a lot of invoices to enter, you can click down. That top invoice now, has been generated, it's ready to save, and you have the option now to enter another invoice. Another invoice, and I'm gonna make it for the same date, invoice number 2222. I'm gonna select Ireland Electric. You might remember from our video on how to set up a supplier correctly, that I set up accounted 123 correctly and entered all the information but with Ireland Electric, I didn't enter all the correct information. And the reason I did that was just to show how much more difficult that can make entering your purchase invoices. So at the moment, my VAT code is at 23%, which for light and heat or a supplier like Ireland Electric, that would be wrong. It should be 13.5%. It hasn't pulled up um, my correct VAT code, and it also hasn't pulled up my analysis code. So if you had a large number of suppliers and they weren't set up correctly you'd have to enter all this information for every single supplier rather than the system automatically generating it for you and doing a lot of the work for you so you're gonna have to change this to 13 and a half enter my net figure of 50 we'll calculate my vat at 13 and a half percent giving me my gross of 56.75 and i'll have to go searching for my nominal code now if i had done that correctly when I set up my supplier, all the information would have pulled in as soon as I entered my supplier code as it did with accountant123. So you can see the benefit there of setting up your suppliers correctly. So I'm going to click save. And you can see it brings me back to my purchase invoices and it shows the invoices, their due dates and whether they have been paid or not. And I will show you how to enter payments on our how to enter payments in surf tutorial video. If I just quickly go purchases on the left hand side and suppliers. Again, you will see I have an outstanding balance for both my suppliers, which is correct as they are unpaid. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that helpful.